everybody how are you hope you are doing well so today in this video lecture we are going to understand a very important topic of our english grammar and which is tenses yes tenses and it is the only portion of a grammar which has given us a huge amount of tension but friends now there is no need of taking tension you know why because in this video lecture we are going to understand these tenses so easily and properly that that these will not be able to give us any tension so now let's see with what will be the agendas of us through which we are going to understand and these tenses so easily and properly so friends now let's understand our first agenda so our first agenda is to understand the need of tenses so first of all we will understand that what is the need of tenses why do we need these tenses and what are the use of these tenses and why these tenses have come in the life of a grammar what is the need of tenses this we will understand in our first agenda okay then our second agenda will be to step by step understand the types of tenses after understanding the need of tenses we will understand that how many types of tenses are there right and in the same agenda we will also understand that uh, how are the types of tenses how are these types of tenses formed okay So in the same agenda, we will learn about this also. So now we have understood the need of tenses and the types of tenses. So after understanding these both, we will know how to take the help of helping verbs. Okay, we will know that how to take the help of helping verbs. So why are these verbs called helping verbs? Helping verbs. There are some verbs which are called helping verbs. So why are they called helping verbs? they are called helping verbs because they help us to complete our sentence right they help us to complete our sentence and they also tell us uh, or uh, make us understand something more about the action which is done in that sentence okay so this is the uh, use uh, this is why we use helping verbs so in this agenda through helping verbs we will understand something more about the tenses okay then our so now we have understood that what are tenses okay so now our next agenda will be to create the structure of each tense now we will create the structure of each tense but friends there are so many types of tenses right there are so many types of these tenses so it's very difficult to keep the rules of these tenses in our mind right so what will we do we will understand we will understand these tenses we will create the structure of each tense in our mind means uh, we will create the structure by ourselves only we will not learn the rules we will create the structure in our mind and we will never forget it do you know why because we have not crammed these rules we have understood these rules by ourselves so we will never forget it okay so now our next agenda will be to master the tenses with the help of examples now when we have understood all these for uh, for our better understanding we will uh, take the help of the examples to understand the tenses more properly so this will be our last agenda okay friends okay friends so now let's start our video lecture with what are tenses so friends uh, what happens in our grammar is that it is asked that at what time is the work which we are doing is done so this means that the work which we are doing is known as an action okay and at the time in which that action is done is known as our time okay so now this these both time and action are used to tell that at what time is that action done in a sentence so by this we can understand that time and action both are very important parts of our sentence okay friends so now you will be thinking that what is the role of tense in these both so to 
indicate these both time and action tenses have come in the life of a grammar why tenses have come in the life of a grammar they have come to indicate the time and action okay friends so now let's quickly revise all so if you will ask me about tenses in the definition so i'll be telling you that tenses are used to denote time and action in a sentence okay so this means uh, we are revising it so this means that the uh, work which we are doing is our action and at what time that work is done is our time so time plus action is equals to tenses okay so tenses are used to uh, indicate to denote time and action so now we have understood that time plus action is equals to tenses okay friends okay friends so now as we have understood that what are tenses and we have also understood the two members we have also known the two members of the tense in which are the time and the action so now first of all what do you understand by the time so friends a work can be done only in three times the present time the past time and the future time so we have divided the time into three parts a first part is the present time this means that the work is done in the present the work is done now only okay so this is our present time the work is done now only so this is our present time then the second part of our time is the past time so this means that the work was already done the work was done in the past and past is also known as back then means the work was done in the past the work was done back then in the past so this is our past time then the third part of time is the future time so in future time the work will be done in the future the work will be done in the coming time right so this is our future time so like this we have understood the three parts of time which are the present time the past time and the future time so friends the work which is done now is known as our present time the work which was done in the was done back then in the past it is known as the past time and the work which will be done in the coming time is known as our future time so we have understood our first member of tense and which is the time time has three members it has three parts the present time the past time and the future time so i hope so that you have understood our first member of tense which is time okay friends so now we have understood the uh, first member of our tense now we are moving to the second member of our tense and which is action friends action has many parts but first of all what do you understand by this word action what do you understand by action so the thing which we do the thing which we do is called our action what the thing which we do is called our action and friends this action is also known as work right so in other words we can say the work which we do is called our action okay friends so now the types of action are the first type is simple or indefinite so friends what do you understand by simple or indefinite so by seeing the name of this first uh, part of action indefinite we can say that it uh, this means that there is a there is no idea about the duration or the length of the time in simple or indefinite there is no duration of uh, there is no idea of the duration or the length of the work uh, of the action in this first 
part of our action which is simple or indefinite now our second part of action is continuous so by seeing the name continuous we can say that the work is continuously being done it is step by step continuously being done or in hindi we can say it lagatar the work is continuously being done is called our continuous it's our second part of the action now the third part of our action is perfect now what do you mean by perfect so perfect means the work is 100% completed there is no mistake in it and it's 100% completed so this is our perfect okay so now our fourth part of action is made up by adding continuous and perfect in which is perfect continuous so friends now you will be thinking perfect continuous we know the meaning of perfect 100% and we know the meaning of continuous which is continuously being done lagatar right so 100% in continuously being done the work it can't be match so friends don't get confused this means that the work will be 100% completed within the given time the work is being continuous the work is continuously being done but it will be 100% completed in the given time duration okay friends uh, so like i can tell you that i will be taking class for 2 hours so in this taking ing form is there so we can easily understand taking the work is continuously being done but it will be done in 2 hours right it will be done in 2 hours perfect means 100% completed and within the 2 hours for the example is that i will be taking class c for 2 hours so this is a sentence i will be taking class for 2 hours right so here taking ing form is there right so it's continuous and for 2 hours the time limit is given work is continuously being done and it will be 100% completed within the 2 hours so this is a perfect continuous and the fourth part of our action is done over here only okay so now we have understood in our this video lecture that uh, we have understood the first agenda which was that what is the need of tenses right we have understood what are tenses the two members of tenses which were the time and the action we have understood that what what do we understand by time what is time we have understood the three parts of time which were present past and future after that we have understood about our action the four parts of action simple or indefinite continuous perfect and perfect continuous so friends now by adding time and action what do we get we get tense right so now we'll understand about the types of tenses in our next video lecture okay friends so in this video lecture only this much so if you have liked this video lecture so please do like share and subscribe and yes friends if you have any doubt you ask me in the comment section and i'm making you sure that i will answer each and every query of yours okay friends so till then bye bye